So all cells are, are covered by a very thin film or a cell wall that we call a biomembrane. Uh, and these membranes uh, basically control what can go in and out of the cell, what molecules can pass in and, and be excreted from the cell, and how information is transferred in and out of the cell. And especially the proteins that sit in these membranes uh, have uh, control these processes. So the understanding the membrane and the proteins in the membrane are actually very central to understanding the whole biology of the cell. This is an area where Stockholm University has a unique combination of both theoretical and experimental skills. Knowledge about biomembranes and membrane proteins plays a large and important role in the development of future medicines, and research groups at the university have made several basic discoveries in this field. We have made a big step forward in the first part of membrane protein research. My lab helps or basically is developing tools to produce them, which makes it more easy to study membrane proteins, and that definitely will help us to understand all kinds of diseases better, uh, and it also will help. It will be very helpful to develop drugs to treat diseases. It is also very important to realize that more than 70% of all, drug tar uh, sorry, all drugs at the moment target membrane proteins. So it's extremely useful to understand them better. This protein I uh, researched on is called cytochrome C oxidase. It's a protein that takes care of almost all the oxygen that we breathe and uh, while it does this, energy builds up. Um, at the same time as it carries the oxygen, it can transport ions, positive ions, from one side of the membrane to the other which in turn also leads to a lot of energy building, building up. And this energy can then be used for like muscle contractions, etc. What I'm doing in my research is I try to um, get pictures of how this protein looks like while it's working. And if we could get these pictures, we could maybe make a movie out of, on molecular level, we could see how this protein looks like while it's working. For instance, smaller changes in this protein could lead to disease. So if we knew how it really looks like while it's working, this could help us maybe understand why these diseases comes up, etc. So in the long run, it means, of course, basic scientific information, but it also means, uh, in a more practical sense, that uh, drug development uh, has a much firmer uh, footing if we can base it on knowledge about the bio biological membranes.